Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really charming name. At least I think it's pretty charming. All right, boys and girls, you know we got to get right down to it. Get right to the checklist. Have you guys taken your baths or your showers? Check. Have you guys brushed your teeth? Are they shiny and gleaming and your breath is all fresh? Check. Do you have your favorite PJs on? Check. What about your cuddle buddies? You got your cuddle buddies? Check. Are you snug as a bug in a rug? Check. Well, before you have gotten in bed, did you remember to give your hugs, kisses, and I love yous to all of your family members, including your pets, in the house? Check. And, of course, did you say your prayers? If you have not said your prayers, please don't forget to thank our Creator for everything before you close your eyes and drift off to sleep, okay? All right, so do that after the story, but don't forget if you haven't done it already. Now let's go ahead and get into tonight's story, which is sort of a part two. The last story that I read was the night before kindergarten. I've moved up a grade. Tonight is the night before first grade. And this is by Natalie Ween, not excuse me, I'm saying her name wrong, by Natasha Ween, and it's illustrated by Deborah Zimka. I hope I said Deborah's last name correctly. On the back cover it says, "'Twas the night before first grade, I kissed my dog Clover, school starting tomorrow because summer is over. It's the night before the big day, first grade. And for two friends, the new school year starts off with a big surprise. And that's what our back cover is looking like right there. Let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? The night before first grade, oh yeah, it's going down in the town. Twas the night before first grade, I kissed my dog Clover. School starts tomorrow because summer is over. Now, you guys know our school started maybe a couple months ago, but it's okay. Still a nice story. Into my backpack went markers and pens. I hung my new outfits. It matches my friend Jen's. Okay. All right. It's always nice to have a best friend. Okay. I spoke not a word, but went straight to the shelf and filled up my lunchbox. I made lunch myself. Ooh, how about you guys? If you're in first grade, are you making your lunches by yourself? That's a big step up from kindergarten. I can't wait to see Jenny. I told my big brother, I hope that our desks are right next to each other. Oh, that would be cool, huh? How many of you guys are in the same class with a friend that you knew before you started school? That night, I was nestled all snug in my bed while visions of jungle gyms danced in my head. The next day at breakfast, Dad made such a fuss. What a big girl you are to be taking the bus. Ooh, how many of you guys are in first grade or higher even, higher grades than that, and are taking the bus, the school bus? Hurry, Penny, said Mom, as it turned down our street. Over here, shouted Jenny. I saved you a seat. Okay. All right. You guys see that? School bus, school bus. School bus, school bus. At school, kindergartners stood outside in the hall. They all looked so young. Were we ever that small? That's funny. While they clung to their parents, we hugged Miss Sunrise. 
You two grew so tall, she said with surprise. So Miss Sunrise is surprised at how big the girls have gotten. Just over a summer vacation from kindergarten to first grade. How different was it for you guys? Mm -hmm. d -d 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 Ding! Rang the school bell. We made such a clutter as we raced to our classroom. Then Jen said, what's the matter? All right. Doo -doo -doo. The principal said, told us that some changes were made. We have some new students. So we split the first grade. Hi, Penny, said my teacher. You're in here with me. But yipes, Jenny wasn't. She was in room 33. Oops, they got split up. Oh, man. Not going to be in the same classroom. Oh, my goodness. We waved goodbye sadly and said, see you later. I had to be brave because I'm a first grader. Soon we sat in a circle and we each said our name. Then we played 20 questions and I won the game. Wow, boy, look at how neat that circle is though, guys. Y'all peep that out? That is quite the round circle. You guys making circles that neat whenever you need to sit down? in a circle because that's pretty perfectly round. Mr. Barr is so funny. He tells jokes and he juggles. And our class pet's so cute. It's a bunny named Snuggles. I knew most of the kids except just a few. So I went and said hi to a girl who was new. That's cool because we have to make new friends. But keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. Oh, man, I remember that. I learned that in the Brownies and the Girl Scouts. That little song. We sat side by side and made pictures with noodles. We laughed when we saw we both made noodle poodles. Oh, hilarious. Noodle poodles. Man, do you guys see that? Noodle poodles. We both have pet turtles and love turquoise blue. And pistachio ice cream is her favorite too. All right, so she's definitely making a new friend. There's the jungle gym. The climb on it, swing on it, and don't break your neck on it, Jim. <laughs> Yes, the favorite hangout of the playground. I can't wait till you meet my best friend at lunch. I just know that you'll both like each other a bunch. The lunch room was buzzing, so busy and loud. We sat down at a table. Was Jen in this crowd? Oh, now they gotta find her. They gotta find Jen. I don't know where Jen is at. Y'all see that? I don't know where Jen is at. Crowded lunchroom. Everybody eating lunch. When what to my wondrous eyes there in line was Jen with a new friend who looked just like mine. Their eyes, how they twinkled behind matching frames. They had curly pigtails, and they had rhyming names. I'm Tina. I'm Nina. Tina and Nina. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Our new friends were twins. And though school's just begun, I know first grade will be twice as much fun. Oh, so they split the twins up and they split Jenny and Penny up. 
and they ended up making friends with both of the twins. The end. Now that was a really cool surprise for a first day of school, huh, boys and girls? I like it. All right. Well, now that we have that story behind us, it's time to move forward with our dream adventures. Yes, get yourself ready. Take yourself on a dream safari. Take yourself on a dream cruise. Take yourself on a dream voyage. Take yourself on a dream expedition. You are in charge. You are the lead. All you have to do is close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about, allow your body to relax and rest, and be still and calm and just drift off to dreamland so that you can have your special dream. And of course, I'm going to get out of the way and let you do that. So I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.